and what the internet audience scored each movie. Whoever is the closest to that score gets a point, and then they get to pick the next movie. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in our uh, contestants here. And what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to do that for 45 minutes, and then the last 15 minutes of the show, we're going to get into what's called the rapid fire round. We stop talking about movies and we start scoring movies. We have our three awesome guests here today. We've got contestants. We have Poppy Tater Tots. Hello, Tater. How are we doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Emoji J. Hello. We already saw you earlier. And last but not least, we have the beautiful Velma. Hello. Thank you for being here. Hi. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Now, does anybody have any questions about the movies, about the show? No, you pretty much explained it perfectly. All right, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get this party started right here. Creature, you got a first movie for us to start off with? Um, yeah, let's, uh, i tell you what, let's, uh, let's start off with one of, uh, one of my old favorites. Let's go with E.T. E.T. Phone Home. Good movie. Now, one thing I forgot to say is once you get a point, you do get to pick the next movie. The only rule with picking the next movie is that the other two contestants have to be at least familiar with the movie. They may not have seen the whole movie. They may not have been able to, maybe not the whole thing, but as long as you're familiar with it, it counts. All right, but we're starting off with E.T. here. Tater Tots, what do you remember from E.T.? You got a favorite scene or a favorite part from that movie? I think it was like when he, uh, the E.T. go home, when he when he rode the bike over the moon. It was, there. that was always the classic. That was always the best part of the movie. You know, that was definitely like Nostalgia 101, and that brings up so many memories. So, yeah. Yeah. Great one. Now, I always love the fact that it's uh, Drew Barrymore's first movie ever. Yeah, that is wild. Yeah. All right. And also Firestarter now, was one of her old movies, too. Very true. Now, what do you think the internet critics scored this movie on a scale of 0 to 100? I think that the internet scored it probably like a good 68. 68? Mm-hmm. And what do you think the internet audience scored this movie? And I'm going to go a little higher with that. I'm going to go like a 70. Okay, so All 68. Right. Jay. What do you remember from E.T.? I like it. The government. <laughs> Not against that. <laughs> what do you think the scores are? Eighty-five, eighty. All right, Velma. Do you have a favorite scene or anything that you took from the movie E.T.? It's been a minute, but uh, I remember something like Skittles or, I don't know. I just like Reese's, Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the trail. I, I always remember that, that scene. The trail of Reese's Pieces. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, I remember that because everybody enjoys a little candy. Um, I would say the critics... Now, when we are listening to these scores, are these scores be- being given like currently or like as the movie was released? Most of these are, they've, it's a little bit of a mixture. There are some at the time as well as as of today. So it's a little bit of a smorgasbord. Okay. I'm just going to start off with 75 and 75 and see where we go from there. All right, seventy-five, seventy-five. All right, I like it. A little bit of in between here. Okay. 
That was very Price is Right. That's exactly what I feel she like. Went, she <laughs> slid right in between. But she's like, I'm just gonna. She's like, I'm just gonna slide right in here. If you guys I'll do a really ten. <laughs> All right. Let me give you a quick little. Uh, let's see. This movie came out in 1982. It's been a while. The critics on the internet gave this movie a 99 percent. Damn, man. <laughs> the great. audience, they didn't like it as much. They gave it a 72 percent. Given our first point here to Emoji J. <laughs> Jay, welcome to the board, my friend. All right, now you get to pick the next. You broke his sherry. <laughs> you can shoot your sure shot as many times as you want. Mm. Top Gun, the original, right? You You're not missing much. It's predictable. <laughs> you need to. It's good. All right. So let me ask you, why Top Gun? Uh, permission to buzz the tower. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Ninety seventy five. All right, Velma. Have you ever, you know, gone down the highway to the danger zone? Yeah. Um, one of the best scenes in that movie is, of course, the volleyball scene. Yeah. Playing, <laughs> yeah. playing with the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And too close for missiles, swish into guns. Yeah, that's a solid choice. I like the movie, too, because I was born in 86, and that's the Hollywood hit of that year. Just saying, it's a good year. Oh, there you go. Dropping the year before I dropped it. I like that one. Okay, drop it some knowledge on everybody. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. What do you think the internet critics scored this movie? Um, maybe we'll go 85 for the critics and 90 for <laughs> the audience. 90 are. Yeah. I think she just did. I think she was just like, because I was inverted. <laughs> All right, Tater, what do you remember from Top oh, Gun? What don't remember about Top Gun? Top Gun is actually a really good movie. And, you know, definitely was classic. Like, you know, back in the 80s, definitely through and through. Like, you know, everything. Tom uh, Tom Cruise was definitely right for that movie. He was definitely the great cast for that. Definitely, you know, right choice. You see the movie he does now. Yeah, he definitely is. He's everything, everything that he started from till now. And yeah, the scenes that I remember, there's so many scenes I can tell you about that gave me such like feels. And the one thing that I'm going to bring a little down is that when uh, when Goose died. When Goose died, you know that 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 was like if you couldn't if you didn't cry over that and had some kind of emotion over that, then you're not human. You know. See the new one, you'd be like, what? Yeah. They incorporate Goose, that's for sure. But like he, you know that that sim that movie was there, and then the reason why I picked that scene is because that symbolized what friendships to me were. Like you know, like I do and die for my friends. I'm there for my friends. You know, and. It's just one of the exemplified what friendships really were to me and still are to this day. That's awesome. I love that. All right. What do you think 
I think I think the critics because it was Tom Cruise because he was freshly freshly out of high uh, freshly out of acting still getting the acting and people do, didn't really have to take him well but I'll still say like ninety one percent would be a thing so I'm going like ninety one percent on the uh, the critics okay I'm, and I'm probably gonna go the like the same ninety for like the audience ninety you talking about just ninety staying with just 90 yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It oh, was definitely yeah. like a trap. Absolutely. Anyway, this score between the three of you was decided by six points. Well, but you're not going to be happy. The critics gave this movie. A 57%. Wow. They had one job. The I'm audience sure. gave this movie an 83%. Giving the next point to Velma. Way to go, Velma. <laughs> Velma, welcome to the board. Thank you. Feels good. And now you get to pick the next movie. Hold on, Velma. DJ, give a rundown, brother. Oh, that is right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cinema Score. I am your host, DJ Boy. What we do on this show is we talk about movies and we score movies on a scale of 0 to 100. We figure out what the internet critics scored the movie and we figure out what the internet audience scored the movie. If you'd like to be, we're going to do that for 45 minutes until the last 15 minutes of the show where we will have our rapid fire round. You got to stick around for that. Maybe your favorite viewer can make a quick comeback and get the win here. And uh, if you'd like to be on the show, please hit up my awesome admins, Vampy, Emoji J, Micah, Creature, or myself. Velma. All right. What do you got for us? Anchorman. Oh, the legend of Ron Burgundy. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it, but I know of it. Okay. Oh, home, work. Oh my god. There's too many. I mean, let's be honest. Before memes, all we did was quote Anchorman. <laughs> well, keep Mark Mulder there. <laughs> I, I know more lines of that movie than I do, like know my family members' names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts. All right, Anchorman. Let me ask you, Velma, why Anchorman? Oh my god. I don't even know what scene this talk about. Like, oh my god. There's this like love of veronica corning stone when he sees her and he's like can't help but talk about her booty like that scene is hilarious the opening scene of like practicing his lines and being like lanolin like sheep's wool <laughs> maybe don't wear a bra next time. i mean it just like goes along like a, all the lines are amazing uh audrey i got bags under my eyes it look like hell <laughs> yeah. when i was just uh, bush <laughs> this is bush league if you were a man, I'd punch you. I'd punch you right in the mouth. It's so good. I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I got. I always get carried away with this show. I'm so, I apologize. All right. What do you think the critics scored this movie? Uh, I think that they scored it at, like, I'm going to say 53%. And then the audience right, what do you, yep. has to be like 87. All right. You think people liked it a little bit more, okay? All right. All right, Tater. Have you ever been in a glass case of emotion? I just don't know the movie. <laughs> like, I know the movie. Oh, just, that's right. You forgot. You haven't seen it. All I, right. I know of it, but I just haven't seen it. I know it it's exists. Right. <laughs> okay. Well... You're going to have to take a shot in the dark here. Yeah, and that's what it feels like. So I'm going to go, I think the audience will probably be like 65%. The audience 65 or the critics 65? I think audience 65. Let's go with the audience first with 65. And I think the critics would be, since it's a Will Ferrell film. God, I'm going to go, I'm going to go 87 so the critics 87 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We always do the critics first. That's why I'm confused. All right. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was being Australia. You're good. You're good. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, emoji J. What do you remember from Anchorman? We're two for two on San Diego, by the way, if anybody was wondering. Yeah, I was noticing that. Ninety and critics yeah. ninety, audience seventy. Yes, that's what I got. Two thousand four was a good year for movies. But unfortunately, the critics. I mean, this is insane. That I'm I'm looking at these numbers, and somebody is going to literally kick themselves in the teeth. The critics gave this movie a 66%. The audience gave it an 86%. Wow. Giving the point here to Velma. <laughs> but I do want to bring something up. Tater, had you switched your numbers, you'd have gotten two. You would have been you would have been all over it. Yep. That's why I asked you, are you doing the critic or the audience first? Dang. I'm, I'm kicking myself now for that one. All right, Velma, you get to pick the next movie. Here we go. Um, Let's do The Nightmare Before Christmas. I already Ooh. did. Don't worry about it, Mojo J. I already did. Everybody good with that one? Jack Skellington? I'm, I'm definitely good with that one. All right, let me ask you a question here, Velma. What's your favorite scene from that movie? Um, like the "What's This" song that plays in my head all the time. <laughs> What's this? There's magic in the air. <laughs> I feel like yeah, I sing that like song for like other situations. Like this is more BS. Like what's this? <laughs> what's what this? is this? Yes, I love that. That's therapeutic. Great song, actually. Awesome. Um, what do you think? Oh my god, I'm. I don't know. I'm naming these movies, and I have to think like not what I think. Obviously, <coughs> 100, 100, But we have to think critics. Oh my god, they better give it like a ninety-five. Um, and then the people, we're just gonna go for it. Ninety-five. 95 95 i love the movie so much i can't see it otherwise all right tater what's you what do you what do you remember from nightmare nightmare blah 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 blah, blah take two what do you remember from nightmare before christmas <laughs> i just remember jack skeleton being a g jack skeleton was a g he was definitely I idolize him so much i'm like this is this guy's awesome i can't be like him <laughs> so yeah that's all right. You know, just everything about him. Just everything. I like it. I like it. So what do you think? This, what do you think the scores are for this? I would think it's going to be kind of like low in a way. I think it's going to be like critics will be definitely harsh on this. So it'll be like a 72. You're going to make you're going to make Velma mad. <laughs> I, uh, I could tell him making our mad already just by just saying 72. <laughs> I can feel yeah, the, I can feel the you, energy. But you know what? The critics are harsh. Exactly. Right, let me think the audience <laughs> scored it. And I think that the audience actually scored it probably like a 75. She's, she's having a hard time coping over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
All right, Jay. What are you? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Velma's reaction to his scores were just, were just classic. Santa Claus. Wow. She. You know, said ninety three times in a row, Jay. Yeah, I said ninety three times in a row. And that's his safe word. Yeah, that's his right safe number. We got a safe words. We got safe numbers in here. Okay. <laughs> you totally forgot about the Oogie Boogie Man. Like that. The Boogie, I was going to say, because nobody brought him up. As a kid, the Boogie Man scared the pants off of me. I thought when the part when the, the insects are falling out of him always just creeped me out as a kid so much. But now you wish he was your neighbor. Oh as my people. god! It'd Your be awesome. He would not knows. be bothered. It'd be on. It'd be awesome, and I'd be, I'd be having cocktails with him every night. Hell See, up. I'm not going to dismiss that though. Oogie Boogie Man was scary, but then I got married, and then you know, enough said. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> All right, let me give you the critics' consensus on this movie right here. Nightmare Before Christmas is a stunningly original and visually delightful work of stop motion animation. That was it? Wow, that's pretty lame. The critics gave this movie a 95%. Damn. <laughs> the audience gave this movie a 92%. Velma with another point and hitting the mark on the 95. That's why you got the 100 right there. <laughs> Trying to be a good sport about this, people. Well, I'm gonna know. just, you, you know, I'm gonna start, listen, I'm gonna start listening to Elmo from now on. The rapid fire rounds coming. You need to build up as much of a lead as you possibly can. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So I have to think of another movie, huh? You can always defer to us. Um, what about that one? Was it like 27 hours where he had to? Well, maybe not everybody would have seen it. Um, I haven't. No, yeah, okay. Uh, let's think. Uh, okay, yeah. Why don't you choose one? I'll, I'll let creature, someone. What do you got for us? What I got? No creature. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, no, I didn't need lemon dog. In. Uh, I tell you what. You're let's ten go. miles away right now, and you're Mall right cop. here. Mall cop. Paul Blart Mall cop. Has everyone seen Paul Blart Mall cop? Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, the, it's like this was like a all those nods on your heads. Everybody who just nodded that was a very like, do I say yes, I've seen this movie, or do I just go like pretend like no, I've never seen it? There you go. That's a good way to put it. Okay, so That's we're honest. gonna start with Velma, Paul Blart Mall Cop. What do you do? What if anything do you remember from Paul Blart Mall Cop? I mean, I love the actor. Kevin is hilarious, but, uh, and so I think that's why I would give it a chance. But I don't remember watching the movie, so <laughs> that should. That's all right. Everything. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, critics. We can get right uh, to the score in here. What do you think the when, critics? When it comes to comedies and scary movies, I feel like critics are like fifty and below. Um. We're going to say 37 for the critics, and we're going to say 24 for the audience. That's my opinion. Wow. Super low. Super <laughs> low. <laughs> it's not How do you really movie. feel about this movie is what I want to know. It's not like it's the best in the world, that's for sure. But we all seem to have watched it more than likely, you know. <laughs> Okay, Tanner. What do you remember from this movie? I'm starting to feel how Velma felt when I gave the last scores. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, but no, like, 
Kevin James is an amazing actor. He definitely did a lot of romantic movies, a lot of comedy movies. And fun fact about Kevin James, he went to my high school years before me. So, you know, that's why I gave him that chance. You know, I'm like, okay, he's alma mater. Give him a chance to watch, you know, watch the movie. Why not? And just reminding of how when I was a kid in the mall, those security guards are exactly like that when I was a kid. They're goofy, annoying, want to get out at your eyes type. Yeah. So. Very nice. What do you think the critics scored this movie? I'm actually going to be nicer here. <laughs> Not like Velma was, but I'll be nicer. Um, I would say the critics actually gave it like, I would say a good 55. Five, five, fifty-five. Yeah. All right. And I think, and I think the audience they didn't know how to really take towards it, and I didn't. They didn't know how to feel with it because it's, it's kind of rip off of more rats back in the day. And I think the fact is that they would score it lower, and they would probably go fifty. You want fifty? Yeah. Five zero. Okay. All right, Jay. What do you remember from old Paul Blart? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about all you need to know about that movie. <laughs> At least you didn't pick ninety for this one. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, you should. You, you surprised you didn't pick ninety. Wow, y'all. Damn, OJ. You were way higher than everybody else. I don't know why, but he was. But here we go. The critics. Well, actually, before we go there, I got to figure out my favorite scene. There's a scene where the the people take over the mall, and they have the guns, and he does the sliding thing where he tries to, like, slide from, like, one, like, area to the other. And he doesn't slide yep. quite far enough, so he has to, like, scooch himself on the ground to get over there that always made me laugh mm-hmm. all right hey do the rundown before while you're doing that dj do the rundown while you're uh why are you doing that well anyway welcome to stim score i am your host dj boy this is my co-host creature here what we do on the show is we talk about movies we go on the internet and figure out what the internet audience scored the movie and what the internet critics scored the movie we're going to do that for another, another 15 minutes in the last 15 minutes we're going to get to the rapid fire round where we stop talking about movies and we start scoring the movies exclusively jesus i can't talk today oh my word, god dj words so if you'd like words. to be on this show please hit up my awesome admins vampy emoji j micah or you can hit up my co-host creature or myself all right jeez the critics gave this movie a 34 yeah. percent the audience gave this movie a 43% winning by only two points and stacking up her lead is Velma. Is Velma. Velma is a threat, everybody. Velma is a threat. <laughs> Killing it. Look out for her on Champion of Champion of Champions. Yeah, this is great. This is the best game I've ever played. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm right now you're on fire. You're killing it. Velma, you're just, hey. you're just be worried when I pick a movie if I ever do. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Ooh, Velma, do you have I'm another a... movie for us? Animal House. Oh, oh classic. The F, man. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Can we what? revoke oh, Emoji Jay's card in here, please? Homer. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, fine. Um, uh, the Blues Brothers. Gosh, okay. Never seen it. All right, Blues Brothers, another classic. You, what is wrong with you 
are people, these movies, these scenes. Hey, you don't have to hear this is me the longest, sometimes. like, cop, actual cop chase scene in any, like, you got to see it just for that thing. You know, and the they, they crashed more cop cars in that movie than most movies have ever crashed cars. You lost me at cop chasing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They, like, drive a cop car through a mall, and it's real. It's like a real mall. Oh, She's trying to hype this movie up so bad right now. It's like not even funny. You guys have, you have so much more. All right. I am One very more there. sad for you two, but okay. Let's think. Fantasia. Can we do Fantasia? I ain't never seen that either. Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, we're going to take over there for you, Velma. That's your third okay. strike. Okay. So. I'll strike you out. Yep. We're just going to go to a tried and true classic because everybody knows this one. Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, girl, you would take one. Because of these two don't know any movies. <laughs> God, you want to talk about two boxes of chocolates down here? Hey, at least I knew what Animal House was. Okay, in my defense. Yeah, but you didn't know Blues Brothers. <laughs> we are on a mission from God. Okay. <laughs> We're on a mission from God. We're on a mission from Gad. Yeah. So I mean, note to self, like after a show is over, go watch these movies. Got you. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of movies. You got homework. Forrest Gump. <sighs> what do you remember from that movie before I just throw myself <laughs> off of this? The bus scene. The bus scene. Trying to get on the bus the first day. Seats taken. Seats taken. Taken. I'm like, but I don't know. And then there's this wonderful human being named Jen A. I'm sorry. Jenna. I'm sorry. Are you sure you want to call? The, I'm, I, you want to use those words? You want to say that again? <laughs> Jen A. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that part. The beautiful human being? Yeah, that part. Wasn't she the one that was like, come on over? And I know that there was things that happened later, but doesn't everybody have things that happen later? Okay, fine. I really can't argue with that, but <laughs> I don't like Jen A. Okay, you don't have to like Jen A. Lieutenant Dan, I mean, <laughs> so many things. Oh, yeah, okay. Critics, we'll get to it. Sorry. Critics. Um... Oh, you take your time. <laughs> Eighty-five uh, percent, and then uh, the audience will go with seventy-eight. All right. What do you remember from uh? You said eight. Would I say that again? Eighty-five, seventy-eight. Okay. All right, Tater, what do you remember from that movie? Forrest Gump. There's a lot of things I remember at that movie. I just remember all the adventures he made like as a kid. Like, you know, when he came to going to school, when he came to getting bullied in school, when he was in the army, when he did that, when, you know, he met Bubba. You know, that was always a great thing. You know, shrimp gumbo, shrimp everything. Like, you know, that was definitely... It was so funny because, like, I remember... When I was in New York City at the time, I remember going to Bubble Gum Shrimp, and they said it was based on that movie. And the fun fact about that uh, place is that, fun fact, if you go to a Bubble Gum Shrimp uh, location and you actually eat there, sometimes the waitress is actually asking you trivia questions like we're doing, and if you get two questions, you get food for free. So, you know, it's always a, that's always a fun fact about that. And, yeah, so one thing I definitely remember about that is that his mom definitely cared about his education. <laughs> so you know that scene. <laughs> and on that note, why don't you give me a score? <laughs> All right. So on that note, I would say that he definitely it was definitely in the high. I would go definitely eighty eight to eighty. You said eighty eight and eighty? Yep. Yes, sir. Mochi J.
Forrest Gump. Yeah. Yep. Never know what you're going to get. Okay. Yeah, you do. That's that's four out of six there with you with the nineties. Does anybody know what generation Forrest Gump was in? What generation? What do you mean? Well, what do you mean? What generation? Like when he was a kid, or yeah. when he's an adult? Uh, it was Gen A. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. gonna lie, that part that was good. That part. So, fun fact about this movie: I had the pleasure of showing um, my wife's cousin's daughter this movie, and at the beginning of the movie, she was like, "Oh my god, I love Jenny so much. She's amazing." And by the end of the movie, she's like, "I want to kill Jenny. Why is she with him? I can't understand." So, after we made that. After we watched that, she made me this. Oh. The magic. These are my magic shoes. The magic shoes. <laughs> All right, but I digress. I love you. She was running. Small, but I know what love is. The critics gave this movie a 71%. The audience gave it a 95%. All three of you were separated by two points. But Emoji J got it. All right, Jay, you got a movie for us? This will be our last movie before uh, we get into the rapid fire round. No. With Jimmy Fox? That movie's terrible, but yes, I've seen it. All right, Creature, what do you got for us? Uh, Wolf on Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street. Have we all seen Wolf? Of no, I swear. Why are you on the show? <laughs> 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 go ahead, DJ. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to go Finding Nemo. <laughs> right. Listen, Nemo God, DiCaprio, I not said. <laughs> Moji J, what do you remember from Finding Nemo before I throw myself off the top balcony of my house? <laughs> Find some answers. <laughs> Fish yeah, food. I don't think they got that one right, but all right. Ninety-two, ninety-one. All right, there, Velma. What do you remember? Man, the turtles crushed. Yes, I love the turtles. I can't think of what they're saying, but it's just a lifestyle. <laughs> that I you were like, Whoa, then you were like, Whoa, then you were like, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And I went to like Disney and uh, or like a uh, California Adventure, and they had like a live like crush QA. And someone asked him to name I'm... all of his kids. and actor was hilarious too so okay critics hmm well there was a second one so um maybe we'll say yeah, there was also there i mean by that logic you i, I would not go with that logic <laughs> okay good point 
A um, lot of second movies that should have never been made. Well, yeah. Well, True. There's a lot of first movies Accurate. too. But um, I think maybe we'll just go, I don't know, like maybe 72. And then for the audience, I think that will be a 90. <laughs> Got there first. All right, Tanner, what do you remember from Finding Nemo? Like Velma said it, the turtles. <laughs> it was definitely the turtles. Screw the fish. Turtles will die. Turtles rock. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go audience. First new critics. Critics would be definitely be 93. And I think and I think that the audience would give it, give it a, let's go 93 as well. <laughs> I just want a point. <laughs> I just want to do the price is right thing against you right now. That's it. <laughs> well, your price is right the wrong way. Critics gave this movie a 99%. Oh, my God. The audience didn't like it as much, though. They only gave it an 86%. So winning by one point is Emoji J. All right. So now that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cinema Score. I am your host, DJ, your boy. What we do on the show is we talk about movies and we score movies on a scale of 0 to 100. If you've been here long enough, you've finally been hearing me talking about it. We've gotten to the rapid fire run. We're actually going to stop talking about the movies and start scoring movies so we can give everybody a chance to make a comeback. If you'd like to be on the show, please hit up my awesome admins, Vampy, Emoji J, Micah, or you can hit up my co-host, Creature, or myself. All right. Now it's our turn to start talking about the movies, and you guys just start scoring here. All right, Creature, do you want us to lead us off, or do you want me to lead us off? Uh, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to lead us off here. I'm going to start off with a classic here. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. I like it. I like it. All right, it's going to be on Emoji J. Talk about it after. Velma. Velma. Oh no. I would <laughs> the critics are in they're at sixty-five percent and I think audience all say seventy-five. All I right, say, Tanner. I would say critics eighty five, audience eighty five. It's uh, eighty five across. Yep. All right. Okay. This one might be interesting with the scoring, guys. This one could be very interesting. Critics gave this movie a 91%. The audience gave it a 95%. Bringing himself to a tie for first place is Emoji J. <laughs> All right, Creature, what do you got for us? Uh, hey, let's go with Rush Hour. Rush Hour. Yes, we're all good with Rush Hour. All right, that's on uh, Jay, Rush Hour. Ninety-six, ninety-three. Yes, sir. All right, Velma. Rush hour, um, seventy eight for the critics and um, eighty for the audience. Se seventy three and eighty. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. All right. Later. I'll say I'm going to I'm going to go 85 across the board again. Eight. What'd you say? You going to go 83? 85. 85. 85, 85. He said, oh, Welcome to the casino, baby. Go. Let's get. All right, here we go, y'all. This one, uh, this was going to be interesting, also. I like how Tater just threw it right in the middle. He put it right in the middle. I mean, he split, <laughs> y'all. I'm telling you. The critics gave this movie. A 62%. The audience gave it a 78%. Velma gets this point. Congrats. Congrats. All right. I'm going to be the middleman here, so I'm going to go against both of you somehow. <laughs> you did do a rundown before we started this? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go with Star Wars. Which one? Yeah, you can't just which say everyone, Star Wars. Which everyone, everybody is familiar with. How about A New Hope, the first one? There you there go. go. That's what we normally do. We try to stick to like normally like the first one or whatever. All right, that is going to be on Velma. Okay. I'm going to say 95 and... um. 87. <laughs> 95, 87. I like the year 87. Sure, I was born. Hell, well. All right, yeah. Tater. I'm going to go critics 87, and I'm going to go audience. Gives it a 90. So Jay can't say 90. I mean, you can still say he 90 if you want. 90 on the first one like he has been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety-one, eighty-nine. Okay. Oh wow, DJ, this might be the closest one of the night, brother. I'm looking at the rest of the scores. Uh, they were pretty close. No, they were not. Nope, that one score. This, I think, this is the closest one of the night. Forrest Gump was two points. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about as close as their uh, everybody's numbers together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also now. Separated by three points. Can't be by much. Well, but unless they're way off. Critics gave this movie a 93%. Mm -mm. The audience gave it a 96%. Coming back into a tie for first is Emoji J. Richie, no, what do you got for it? I'm just a thousand away today. All right, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick my I'm gonna stick my foot out there, man. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna get a no from Tater, but uh, let's let's see. Four brothers. Four brothers. I don't know it. If you saw it, you got. If you ain't seen it, you got homework. That is such okay. a good movie. All no, right. that one you got homework to do. I've never seen it. I'll write it We'll down. drive it back. We'll drive it back. We'll go to Matrix. Oh, yeah. The Matrix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely saying that's a good movie. All right, let me make sure I get the right one. There we go. All right, that it, is on. It won't nobody Jay. getting Matrix. away with. Uh, it won't nobody getting away with. Oh, I've never heard of the Matrix, by the way. Just let. <laughs> yeah. Can I change my answer? Living it. <laughs> it's on you, Jay. Yes. It's on you, Jay. Ninety-five, ninety-four. Okay, Velma. Ninety-six, ninety-five. Ninety-six, ninety-five. <laughs> what in the Price Is Right? I like it. I like it. You, know, you know, you know what? Since you both want to do that, I'm just going to go like ninety-six, ninety-five as well. All right. <laughs> no, you, you can't. You can't say those two. You got to. You got to go either lower so or higher. Ninety-six, ninety-six. Okay, you can do that. 
this is going to be very. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can't give the same one she did, though. <laughs> I don't understand why nobody has seen Four Brothers. That is such a good movie. I've seen it. God is such a Mark good Wahlberg. Movie. Come on now, how could you not? Yes. Come on. Well, it's your your tactics may have been, may have shot you guys in the foot here. The critics gave this movie an eighty three percent. Audience gave it an eighty five percent. So just by proxy of going first here, emoji J. <laughs> nice All right, Richard, what do you got for us here? Dude, where's my car? Oh my god! Classic, <laughs> love it, dude. Have we all seen Dude? Where's my car, dude? If not, never familiar. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Unfortunately, this is an absolute classic of a movie. This is one of the greatest movies of our time. Okay, this brought in the year two thousand with a bang. If you don't got a tattoo with Dude on you, something's wrong. <laughs> no, I got one that says Sweet. Nice, I got Dude. What is that? So sweet. <laughs> All right, Jay. Dude, where's my car? What do you think? Velma. Um, I'm gonna say seventy and eighty-five. Seventy and eighty-five. Yeah. Okay. I would go. I'm going to go seventy and sixty-five. Okay. You said seventy and sixty-five. Yeah. yeah. Seventy and six-five. Yes. All right. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I believe you're all off, though. If I had to guess. No, you right. You I see me doing an equation for God's sakes. Mathematicians. Oh my God! The critics gave this movie a seventeen percent. Seventeen, in between sixteen and eighteen. <laughs> A 17%. The audience gave it a 47%. Putting himself on the board is Tater. Tater, welcome to the board. Creature, what do you got for us on the next movie? Right, Tater's a, a, a bad movie like that gives me points. Thank you. <laughs> probably going to be... I don't know. That might be the final movie. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to give y'all a, a hint. Dun, dun, Jaws. Jaws. All right, Tater, what do you got for us for the Jaws scores? I would say, before I even give the score, that, show gave me, that movie gave me nightmares, so thank you very much. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, I would say since it was like a really good whiff at, at James Cannon, I would say I'll go eighty and eighty. Eighty across the board. Eighty across the board. Hey, that was Steven Spielberg, by the way, not James Cameron. No, James Con uh, James Con, no actor. Oh, James Con, yeah. You're gonna need a bigger boat. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> All right, Jay. Never wow, Jay. That. Wow. Yeah, that was Welcome definitely to, a right, too. DJ, can you change your name for your movie uh, to your show to Crisis Right Now? <laughs> <laughs> or the score is, the score is right. <laughs> All right, Velma, what do you think? Oh, boy. Um, let's do 
8790. Unfortunately. 8790. All right. 87 and 90. We may have a winner or we may have a tie right here. Ooh. If we have a tie, we go into sudden death. The critics gave this movie a 97%. The uh, audience 85 and gave this movie a 90%, giving the point and going into sudden death overtime. Is <laughs> yes. yes. All right. So now, Tater, here's the crazy part. If you can get six movies right in a row, you could win. Only, only six. <laughs> All you got to do is get six movies right in a row and you can still win. But now we're in sudden death. Whoever gets the next one is the winner. And so now. This is the most intense, intense game that he's had. Rematch? Sure. It won't be tonight, bud. <laughs> All right. We're in, we're in overtime here, Creature. What, what movie do you got for us here? Uh, the Green Mile. The Green Mile. Has everyone seen The Green Mile? Of course. Could you keep the light on, ball? Did you just say no? You said no? Oh, All right, next movie. Homework. Uh, Planet of the Apes. First one. The original from the, original. the 70s? Uh, whatever, whichever one, DJ, your boy picks, whichever one y'all know. Holy crap. I know both. I'm going to go with the original. The original. Okay. Oh, God. This is going to take forever to find. I hate you guys. It's on Velma, by the way. Oh, I'm okay. dead. Um, <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, the critics are gonna say 80% and the people are gonna say, the audience is gonna say 70. And your first number was what? 80. 80. 80 and then 70. Okay. All right. Tater? I would say... Critics give it a solid 88, and I would say critics get that the direction. Critics gave it 88, audience gave it, I would say, an 80. 88, 80. All right, Jay. Um, let's go with 8179. 8979. Here we go. Hopefully we got a winner here. I want to see who wins this football game. <laughs> no, because that's a copywritten. You gotta game. be kidding me. I wish I could. So the score was 7982. That would work. Taylor gets the point. <laughs> One, one down, one down, five to go. Let's go. Neighbors. No, I sure won't. Uh, neighbors. Never seen it. Okay. Are you kidding me? That homework. That's good homework. Yes. Yeah. It was Zach Efron? I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Another movie. Uh, let's go, uh, Southpaw. Southpaw? No! Yeah. How about the South Park movie? I can't believe y'all don't know what that is. All right, Lion King. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lion King. It goes, it's on a tater. 
it's on Lion, Gator, Lion King. Lion King is definitely a 92 in really, really quick, an 88. Really quick, though, uh, Velma, I want to rematch if you win. Yep. Jay. Well, obviously not tonight. I know that. Hello, I know how this works. 93 and an 89. 95, 95. 95, 95. Mm. Will I, I do two in a row? Who knows? Let's see. Hey, Taylor, no. you can pull it out. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll laugh. It's very possible. Yep. Which one? Well, hey, you know what? At least I scored more points than Goober. I'm good. The CS, <laughs> Remake of the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me. I believe that was the first. I think Goober was the first, too. Dang. The critics. Love you, Goober. <laughs> gave this movie. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we have a tie. The, the, the critics did everything different then. Um, oh, God. Are we, are we going to say me again? The critics gave this movie an 88%. The audience gave this movie an 89%. Tater technically gets a point here. But Emoji J also gets a point, making him the winner. Hey, at least you got a point this run. <laughs> what a game there. Wow. Seriously, that, that was, was insane. Game. Now, before everybody goes really quick. Absolutely. Before everybody goes, um, Tater... Do you have anything going on on the app that you'd like to tell, let everybody know that you got going on? Anything like that? Sorry, oh, yeah. Um, but I just want to say, love y'all. I'm on the East Coast. I'm going to bed. Y'all have a good night. No, you're not. I'm you're going to watch the football game, liar. Stay here. Liar. <laughs> but no, it's been uh, – so what I'm doing is uh, Factor Fib with uh, Fairy Godmother. We're doing that on what, Sunday, I believe? Something like that. Uh, yeah, so we're doing uh, we're doing Factor Fib with uh, it's gonna be Vampy's team, which is DJ and Lala versus me, Goober, and I think what you, Jay? I'm dead, Daniel. <laughs> yep. So it's uh, so it's me, uh, me, Jay, and Goober versus Vampy, D uh, Lala, and DJ. They're going down, by the way. So we're gonna win. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And you know, I hang out here, I stream, I stream occasionally, and things. but I'm mostly part of the Goober Kingdom, and I'm also part of Gibby's family. So if you want to support some good music and some good vibes, go to their streams and support them as well. That'd be great. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Now, Velma, what do you have going on on the app here, or anything upcoming that you let everybody know about? I don't. We're gonna be here until one o'clock um, in the morning. Okay wise coming up anytime soon i I pop into shows when i can it's really fun to get to know people um i am also running a game show on sunday nights called name that game um it's at the very early stages of looking a little better um and it's a trivia game that uh i it's based off of pop culture u.s pop culture what and then um on Wednesdays, I also do a nightly yeah, I'll stream, go with and I then don't know what is. every day I uh, stream yoga at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I just have open topics. That's awesome! Very yeah. cool. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show as well. I Who goes first? You had an absolute amazing first? run there in the beginning. Peter, Peter goes Unfortunately, first. it wasn't enough to Not go good. ahead here and crown our new El Campeon. Emoji Jay. Jay, what do you got going on on the app, my brother? 93 and 89. <laughs> Touchdown. I swear to God, if you win. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be a first. I'm dead. 
Awesome. Good stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, I'd like to thank all three of you for being contestants on the show. You've been amazing, incredible contestants. I was a little concerned for Taylor there coming into the end, but he decided that he was going to make a comeback there and really put the sweat on some people. But I'm going to go ahead and play. The